King Edward Point is located in, in South Georgia, which is a group of islands located between the Falkland Islands and Antarctica. In terms of science, South Georgia is extremely important. It's a natural wildlife haven. South Georgia can only be reached by sea, and so a safe berthing point is critical to crew safety, but also to the variety of operations that we undertake. And this new wharf provides protection of the territory. The Sir David Attenborough vessel is extremely important for the scientific community. The wharf has been constructed to allow that vessel to berth at King Edward Point and on South Georgia. The wharf just helps support the whole science base. So it means the SDA and the Faros can come alongside and can bring us cargo, can help people move around and can also bring us our food. The most important milestone in the very beginning was just the uh, departure of the Billisborg from T-Sport in the UK. It arrived on the 16th of January. The next milestone was uh, the first PAL on the 28th January. So to construct the new wharf, we had to pitch and drive uh, up to 168 PALs around the existing wharf, backfilled to make a nice level platform for the future. After that, constructing the new slipway. And finally, as we're working on right now, is finishing the uh, new mooring dolphin. Okay, the sun is shining today and it's absolutely fantastic but a lot of the time it isn't a lot of the time it's quite wet it's quite windy it's quite wild it's physically quite a hard place it could be absolutely not a breath of wind and within five minutes you can have 30 35 meters a second wind quite a challenge pre-planning is is absolutely important at locations that are isolated and difficult to reach such as KEP. The diligence and conscientiousness of, of the team in pre-construction and the planning stage had been really a great success. We built it digitally, challenging and verifying the design as necessary. The wildlife's been fantastic, really interesting, really in your face. Fur seals, elephant seals, a variety of birds including terns and albatross and petrels. Any process that we have to do within the construction has to really take care of the local environment. We brought sniffer dogs onto the ships to make sure that there were no accidental introductions to rodents. We had to start construction in January um, due to the local uh, animal breeding season. We limited the use of impact piling and used the, the less intrusive vibro piling. The KP Wharf project was, was, was carried out as a collaborative project with the Government of South Georgia, uh, Bass, uh, Ramble and BAM Nuttall. Sweco uh, joined as, as BAM's design partner. Integration has been fantastic. The kind of BAM team that we've had here in, in the evenings and at weekends, we spent a lot of time with each other. A lot of emphasis was put in developing a one team philosophy for the whole of the season. After almost two years of design, planning, mobilisation and subsequent construction, the team were able to align the completion of the wharf to the exact day to enable the safe arrival of the demobilisation vessel. Three weeks ahead of schedule, finished, slightly under budget, quality, health and safety and environmental performance, excellent. It was a phenomenally good performance by the team there. Given this very remote, rather limited, territory in terms of infrastructure, that is an incredible achievement.